you like great, magical, abundant things to happen to you in your life? Expect it. My name is Brian McIntosh. This is The Daily Dose. And I believe that expectation will drive your results to a greater degree than almost anything else in terms of your attitude or your perspective of the world. Your expectation now determines how you react to the world around you. It determines how you respond to circumstances. It determines in the choices that you make daily, minute by minute. Now, I'll give you some examples. Let's say, for example, that you expect to be overweight for the rest of your life, maybe because you have parents who are overweight or relatives are overweight or maybe the majority of your family is overweight or maybe you've just been overweight for all of your life and you've given up hope that you'll ever be anything but overweight. So if you have an expectation that you'll always be overweight, why would you exercise? What's the point? Right? Why would you skip the dessert? What difference does it make? See, if your expectation is that you'll always be overweight, then you won't do the things that would help you to not be overweight because you don't believe it'll make any difference. And because you don't do those things, you will remain overweight. And then it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. And you'll say, see, told you. <laughs> right? But it works that way in your finances. It works that way in your spiritual life. It works that way with your relationships. You ever been arguing with your spouse or your significant other and, and all you're really arguing about is how you're arguing all the time? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? It's because you have an expectation that there's an argument coming. So you're armed, ready for battle, right? Your expectation has everything to do with your choices, your responses, your words, your attitude, how you feel, and how those feelings come out of you and affect the world and the individuals and the people around you. It has everything to do with it. Your expectation. So one of the interesting things about optimism is you'll hear people say that the most successful presidencies are, or the, 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 the people that are the most successful in presidential elections are overwhelmingly the ones who are judged to be the most optimistic. You'll find that the people that you like being around the most are the ones who are the most optimistic. Unless, of course, you're a giant complainer, in which case you want to be around other giant complainers so you can sit around and play ain't it awful all day. <laughs> right? But optimism now is nothing more than the expectation of good things to come about, of positive results to come down. Whereas pessimism is the expectation of negative life experience negative results, negative circumstances. So they're both expectation, right? Both optimism and pessimism are expectation. The question is, which expectation will you choose knowing full well that what you expect will manifest in your life? You know, there's an old saying, and as Jim Rohn used to say it, so you don't get what you deserve, but you most always get what you expect. That's the dose. We'll make it a great week. <laughs>